Hi, my name is Sarah Price. I'm an independent Sensi director for Team Follow Your Purple Brick Road. Tonight, I'll be doing a training on Fortune is in the follow-up. I'm going to be showing you my tips and tricks that I have for my binder system, my planner, to keep my customers organized and making sure that I'm following up with them consistently. I hope you enjoy. Um, that is amazing. There's a couple SSDs that do this. Um, Jessica Villarreal does it, Christina Steinberg does it, um, Katie Farner does it, so a ton of big SSDs do this. And let me tell you, this thing is a life changer. You, um, if you are consistent with it, um, if you're consistent with it, you will, uh, Mackenzie says hi Nicole, if you didn't see that Nicole. <laughs> um, if you're consistent with your follow-up binder, your business will seriously change. I'm not even joking you, I sucked at follow-up. Um, and in 2017, I sat down and I was like, I'm being serious about my business and I did this follow-up binder and it gives me an, an opportunity to talk to people every single week or month. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So and this is it. It's my cute little thing. It might be backwards, but all it says is fortune is in the follow-up. It's not backwards. No, perfect. That's great. Um, so I just did this just so I'm a little organized and it's a half inch binder. So you don't need a really big binder. Um, so then opening up, you can see all these little tabs, okay? Um, so the key to this is you get the dividers with the pockets in it. That's the only way it's going to work um, is if you have the dividers with the pockets in it, all right? So the first little side tab here is your need to be ordered tab. Um, so those are any orders that you collect over the week, um, you put into here so you know to add those into your workstation. Um, if you have a party order that you haven't closed yet, just put it over here, um, and that way you can stay on top of things, okay? Then the second one is your ordered tab. So these order forms are gonna be the ones that you just placed your order in your workstation or your PWS they've ordered on there, and they're waiting to be delivered to you or to their house. So I just placed an order yesterday, so that's why these order forms are in there. I haven't received it yet, okay? So then the next one is pending delivery. So that means I've received the order, or the customer has received the order, and I'm waiting to bag it up and drop it off to their house. So that's where my pending delivery goes. So after it goes ordered and then into pending delivery. Okay, so the third one is one week. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little disclaimer here. I do a 113, a 113. So my one week, one month, three months. Some people do a 222, two day, two week, uh, two months follow-up, whatever works for you. Um, there's pros and cons to all of them. So um, a pro to the 222 is you're talking to them two days after they receive their product, make sure that they're using it. Um, a con to that could be um, they might not have used it yet. So that's why I don't like it. So one week, I feel like after a week, they have maybe tried one or two cents. Um, and that way the conversation can go a little bit further than oh, I haven't used my stuff yet. So that's why I like the one week, uh, one month, three months, okay? So my one week goes into this pocket. Once I do that follow-up, then it goes into the next pocket, which is the one month, okay? And then it just, I keep moving the order forms down and then the three months, okay? And then my one month refollow up. So the goal here um, is I want them to order before three months. If they haven't ordered from three months, they're going to go into this refollow up. And then I follow up with them a month after and figure out why haven't they ordered yet. Tell them about any specials. Um, if they're going through financial issues, maybe we can host a party so they can get free Sensi. Or tell them about the join if they have if they lost their job or something like that. So that's that um, refollow up. If they still haven't ordered after that one month refollow up. I'm going to refollow up with them three months later, okay? So that gives it six months from their original order date. If they still haven't reordered, there's seriously an issue, okay? Um, we have a consumable product. People need warmers and wax, or wax at least. They might not need a new warmer, but they definitely need, need wax. And if they don't have a new wax after buying a six-pack of bar, they're probably getting their wax somewhere else, i.e. Walmart. And we don't want that. <laughs> um, so we got to make sure that we, they're using our Scentsy Wax and tell them by six months, there's going to be a new catalog. So if they ordered this month, that's going to bring you until September, which is our new catalog. So if they want a new catalog, offer to mail something up to them, okay? So that's their um, three-month refollow-up. And then my reordered tab. So the goal is to get every order form in here, okay? Um, and then once I do the reordered, every single week I just file it away after. 
And then in the back, I usually have some extra order forms, okay? So that's the binder, but I wanted to talk about the actual order form. So a couple key um, things about this, everyone gets an order form, okay? Every single person, um, whether they are a, um, buying some stock off of you, whether it's a party order, whether it's a PWS order, everyone gets one of these, okay? Um, so I have created, and I already uploaded into the files, this little guy, let me show it like that. Okay, so what these are, these are Avery labels. They're two inches by four inches. Um, you can purchase them at Staples. For 250 of them, I paid $13. Um, so on there, there's ordered, delivered, one week, one month, three month, and then my thank you, okay? And there's little check boxes here. So once I've completed it, I just check it off. So I'm gonna show you a little example. So these are pending delivery, so I haven't done those ones. So I'm gonna show you Let's do the one month, okay? So this customer, he ordered on March 10th, okay? So I did the follow-up, I put, or he ordered, so I did a check mark. It was then delivered on March 11th. I did a check mark there, okay? My one week was March 18th, and I did that, so I put a check mark. And my one month is coming up this week, or next week, so April 11th. My three months is June 11th, and I haven't completed that yet because um, it's not June, and then my thank you package, I've sent it out to him, okay? Um, so a little, um, a little things on how to do the months, because it might be a little confusing. So they order it, and then it gets delivered, and you start your time from when they, be, like they receive the product, not when they deliver it. So if I delivered something today, my one week is going to be next Tuesday, okay? And then my one month is going to be May 4th, my three months is going to be May, June, July 4th, okay? So it's always on the day that they receive it. It's not from when they ordered it. So that's how you do your, um, your sections, okay? Um, a couple other things. You might ask what the thank you package is. Um, so I have a little thank you package that I send everyone. Most of them are in the mail or I might include it into their um, bag. But so this is what it is. Super cute. It's actually a product sheet, okay, folded with some pockets. I know Mackenzie did a, um, a training on this. It's amazing. It fits everything. So in here, I just have a couple samples. And then the most important thing is your picture, you guys, okay? A picture speaks a thousand words. If someone orders from my, order, um, from my workstation, they probably have never seen my face before. So I'm putting my face, my family's face, and my daughter's face there, okay? So I want them to see why I do this business. So I do this business for my family and for my daughter, okay? Um, and then it just says, thank you for your order. My family appreciates your business. Then my name, um, my rank, and then my website. And then on the back, I hand write a note, okay? Um, so I just said, thank you for purchasing your new Sensi warmer off my website. I appreciate you supporting my small business. I place local orders every Wednesday if you would like to save on shipping costs. Thanks again, Sarah Price. Um, so that's another thing. So I always tell my customers that I place orders every Wednesday. If I don't actually place an order, that's okay. But I tell them that on every Wednesday, I'm placing a local order. So if you want to sit, sit, La, 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 la. save on shipping, um, just PM me your order instead of paying that 20% off my website, okay? Um, and then I mail them into, I'm gonna hide her stuff, but I mail them into little um, envelopes, and these are actually photo envelopes from Staples. They're four and three quarter inch by six and a half inches. They're just photo, specialty photo envelopes, and they work great for postcards. And then another trick I want to teach you guys is if you guys use the Avery labels, make sure you're adding our logo. Add the logo right there and then your address, okay? It's perfect marketing. So if someone, um, any mailbox person, they're going to see Sensi, oh, Sarah Price, and they might look you up. I've gotten some orders by that. So it's free advertising, okay? So again, just add the little logo and then your information right there, okay? Um, so I think that's it. Oh, and then my last thing is if you don't have a planner, you need a planner, okay? Um, it could be super fancy like this. I know people probably have this one. This one's from Michael's. Um, or it could be a piece of paper, but on the month graphic, I only put my Sensi stuff. So I put all my personal stuff on the individual days, but my Sensi stuff is here. 
So if you guys can see, um, I think over here, I can't really see it that well, but I'll put their name and then I'll either put one M, which is one month, a one W is a one week, or a three M is three months. So that means that I'm looking through my calendar. Tomorrow, I have to call Crystal and Kim for their one week follow up, okay? So each day I wake up and I look who I have to follow up with. I'm going On every order form, I put the order number just right here, okay? I write it down. That way if there's an issue with a warmer and I have to call consultant support, I'm not rooting here and they're gonna need the order form number or the order number, so I have it right there. It's super easy because I don't know They order just a couple things. You have all this space to write what they um, write your notes. So I did a follow up on 322 and I just wrote, she loves her stargaze, okay? Or if I say she's loving um, coconut pumpkin pie or something like that, I just say um, what she's doing. And then if I send any samples, I'm writing on there to make sure that I'm not sending her duplicate samples, okay? So make sure you write, um, to remind yourself what you're sending people because if you have a lot of customers it can get confusing <laughs> and no one wants 10 samples of the same <laughs> thanks for watching my training video on the fortune is in the follow-up I hope that you enjoyed and learned a thing or two I also hope that you make your own binder and use this system whether it be the 113 or the 222 this system will seriously change how your business works. Imagine if you started implementing it this month, how busy you're going to be with your follow-up in the fall and winter. I can't wait to see how you implement this into your business. I hope you guys have an awesome night, and thanks for tuning in to Team Talk Tuesday. Thanks.